In recent times, there's been repeated calls for peaceful conduct of the 2019 elections. Basically, it's the same opinion being expressed here at a one-day conference organized by the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation, especially by the former president. I urge the electoral umpire, in this case of Nigeria INEC, and the security services to make sure that they are fair to all. Because if people feel that these bodies are fair to all, it will make citizens behave better. If they do otherwise, it will be a recipe for crisis. As we all know, peace is absolutely necessary for the survival of our nation. Because without a peace, there will be no nation. Without a nation, there wouldn't be any election. Now the conference is actually designed to create maximum awareness among citizens and political stakeholders on the need to avoid election-related crisis during the elections. The Catholic Archbishop of Sokoto, Matthew Kuka, paints a very grim picture of the reason why violence occurs. The implication is simple. Nigerians need to see themselves as one. In reality, when you stereotype somebody, and this is why if you follow the social media and you hear all the things that have been said, whether it's against Muslims, it's against Fulanis, against Ejo, against different groups of people. We actually all internalize all these things and tragically, very tragically, and I speak to my brothers in northern Nigeria, one of the biggest challenges we face, that the only thing that can create harmony in any society is marriage. There is no better time than now to re-emphasize the importance of patriotism, unity, tolerance and peaceful coexistence in Nigeria. These are necessary for the preservation of Nigeria's fragile democracy and continued existence of an indivisible country even after the 2019 general elections. Georgina Ndukwe Zainka, STV News.